Hello everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here, and we get to do another donation unboxing video. I get to show you everything I received in May of 2019, and this is fantastic. We actually have quite a few things to open. Some of these things I've been holding on to for quite a while, so I'm really excited to get to show you these things now. Uh, if you would like to send something to me, if you'd like to donate something to the channel, I will put the post office box address on the screen now. So you should be seeing that. That's where you would send something if you would like to donate something to the channel. But I always want to include my caveat that you do not have to send me anything. Uh, this channel does not require your donations. I don't ask for them. Um, I am happy just having you here, watching the videos, and kind of going on this uh, journey with me. So thank you for being here. Uh, thank you for watching the videos. That really means the world to me. So thanks everyone for that. Um, and thanks to everyone who uh, was generous and thoughtful and decided to send stuff in. Uh, if you do send something to me, I will put it on on camera in a video like this so everybody can see. Uh, I want to share uh, the stuff that you send with everyone. So thanks for that and um, I'm ready to open some of these. This box is very special. I already know what is in this box um, but I've uh, left it in the box because I want to make sure that uh, no damage comes to it. You may have seen the YouTube channel Painted Plastic did a custom vehicle uh, to send to me and this is it. So here it is. Um, it's still packed away in the box exactly as it was. I did uh, cut the box open, but I will be taking this out for the first time to show you guys. And, um, and this is really cool. You're really going to like this, okay? So this is from Painted Plastic uh, on YouTube. Uh, and right off the top, there is an envelope. Um, let's see if I won the uh, sweepstakes. Let's see what we got here. Uh, it does say HCC 788, uh, by which I am sometimes known. So I believe this is intended for me. Uh, so I guess I will open it. Uh, so uh, let's open it. We're te tearing open the seal envelope now. And we have a letter. Um, and I really should have brought my reading glasses with me. Um, I will try to read this. I decided to get my reading glasses. That's my best chance of being able to read this letter. So. Uh, the letter starts HCC788, that's me. Uh, hey Commander, hope this package finds you well. It does, thank you. Uh, sorry again about this project taking so long, but life, you know. Uh, no need to apologize, it is life. Uh, it, you know, uh, absolutely never a reason to apologize for that. Um, I hope you enjoy this G.I. Joe custom as much as I enjoyed creating it. Uh, to be honest, I think I, um, I want to do another Arctic Fox for my own collection. Cool. Uh, I'd like to see it, especially if you decide to like do any uh, updates and tweaks to the design. I'd love to see what you come up with. Um, I also want to do another Joe custom since uh, sometime in the future. If you have any ideas, let me know. I will be thinking about that. Anyway, thank you for all uh, the great G.I. Joe content. I always look forward to your uh, new videos. I started collecting G.I. Joe again in 2010, and uh, at first I had no idea uh, how vast the Joe community was slash is. I found your channel about three years ago and have been a loyal viewer ever since. Thank you. Hopefully we can meet at Joe Fest later this year. I hope so. I will be there. Um, I'll be, um, it'll be my first G.I. Joe Con, and I'm really excited. Me too. Uh, it's not my first G.I. Joe Con, but I am really excited about it. Uh, thanks again for all you do. Yo, Joe. Uh, Brandon Payne, um, a.k.a. Painted Plastic. P.S. Sorry for uh, the sloppy handwritten letter. Uh, it's not sloppy. I read it uh, without any problem, as long as I got my glasses. Um, but I... Uh, find typed letters impersonal. Only G.I. Joe is G.I. Joe. Um, the perfectly well written letter. Thank you very much. Um, and now I'm ready to look at the box. Okay, now, what's in the box? What's in the box? Uh, first, uh, blue bubble wrap. Very nice. Uh, nice and colorful. A nice cobra blue bubble wrap. And the next is a figure. And uh, this is awesome. I gotta zoom in. You gotta see this. This is a custom well you know it was skidmark but this figure now has a new file card and he is now hard pack check that out that that is a pretty nice um custom file card 
And check out those uh, custom colors on the former uh, Skidmark figure. That is um, really nice. And we got some um, some parts in addition to uh, the Skidmark head. But I'm gonna I'm gonna take this out um, and I'll I'll try to get some more close-ups of it. Um, so you can uh, really uh, see and appreciate this. Um, so there is the figure. Um, looks great, really nice um, Arctic figure. And it has more, this figure is, is really cool. It has more than just like the usual white that you expect on an Arctic, Arctic figure. It has some other colors that go really well with it. Um, I like the, the tan uh, trousers. Uh, looks like from Law. Um, but, um, yeah, that's amazing. That's amazing. And it comes with, comes with a weapon and a figure stand. You know, it's, uh, always nice when a figure comes with a figure stand. And, uh, this file card, which I'm going to carefully pull out. Uh, it is, uh, printed on cardstock. Very nice. Um, and it's, it's cool. It has a neat, a neat feel to it. Uh, code name Hardpack um, Arctic Fox Driver. Um, file name Henry C. Clayton. Um, primary military specialty Arctic Vehicle Driver. <clears throat> Secondary military specialty Infantry. Birthplace is Aspen, Colorado. Appropriate. Um, yeah, I think um, I don't usually put uh, still photos in these um, donation unboxing videos because uh, I don't do a lot of editing on them. But in this case, um, I will probably drop in some still photos, some close-up photos of uh, this file card and this really, really awesome figure. Um, it's It looks even better in person than I expected. Uh, the All the details painted in. That, that gray helmet on the Skidmark uh, head is it's a really nice color. It, it, uh, it's great. So this is awesome. Uh, but now wait until you see what else is in the box. This is just uh, the, the first item. Okay, and I apologize if I'm a little sniffy. My allergies are just exploding. It's really bad, but uh, I will survive. We'll, get, we'll make it through this. Um, and there is, there's the vehicle. Let me see if I can carefully pull this out. Uh, I don't want anything to... Um, get damaged in any way. Um, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Check that out. Okay. Make sure I'm not dropping anything in there. Okay. All right. I have not dropped anything in the bottom of the box. And there is a really nicely wrapped. And there she is. <laughs> now I wish I hadn't worn a gray shirt because the gray vehicle is going to blend in. But uh, let's get a close up on that. You got to see this. You gotta see this. Um, it's turned the Desert Fox into an Arctic vehicle. Um, some uh, skis on the front. Still got uh, the Desert Fox's uh, four wheels in the back. Um, and this is the first time I've had a chance to really see this close up. Um, that gray camouflage, looks like gray and black, two-tone camouflage on top of the base that's kind of an off-white um, is just gorgeous um, and some sticker applications and um, uh, since this is a custom uh, you know you got uh, some just some more detail than Hasbro would have put on it um, and that is just it's just gorgeous um, incredible detail on on these uh, front skis. Uh, they are articulated um, uh, a little bit. I mean, I don't want to break them, but um, uh, they are on like the the um, axles of the Desert Fox. And um, that's a pretty mean looking uh, desert vehicle. Uh, not desert, but um, Arctic vehicle. Um, just, I, I just can't stop looking at it. It's um, we've got, I mean, all the color, colors are updated, uh, new, uh, new gun turret, new, uh, new colors for the missiles. We've got the, that, uh, classic, uh, antenna that's always so much trouble on the, uh, on the Desert Fox. Just, um, I can't see enough about it. Um, Painted Plastic did a, a video series of him making this. 
uh, you should go check out that video series. Um, I will put on the screen uh, the channel name so you know how it's spelled. It, it's spelled in a very specific way, so I want you to be able to find it. Uh, but yeah, you got to check this out. Um, and it's even better in hand than uh, I expected. And I was expecting it to be awesome, and it's even better. Uh, so thank you for this painted plastic. Uh, I am duly impressed. Um, and now this is like one of my prized possessions. Um, so somebody actually made this for me, and it's too cool. Okay, I put the Arctic Fox's uh, driver in the driver's seat. I'm keeping the file card with it. I'm just going to gently set that aside for right now. Um, I haven't picked exactly what order I want to open these boxes, so I'm just going to grab uh, this little one, uh, which is one of the ones I got more recently. Uh, this is from Dave... Domenico. Dave M. Domenico. Thank you, Dave, for this. Very much appreciated. Um, and uh, it's a small box, but it is large enough for a figure, I think. So maybe that's what it is. Let's see what we got. Uh, and we have, it is a figure. Uh, and in fact, it's a figure that I recognize. It's a figure that I like very much. Um, this is... Scrap iron. I meant to zoom in and I accidentally uh, stopped the recording. So now let's zoom in on scrap iron. Um, I'll go ahead and take him out of this bag so you can see. Uh, looks like scrap iron from 1984. Um, in really nice shape. Uh, probably better condition than the one I have. Um, but um, there's scrap iron. I always like scrap iron. I think it's kind of an underrated figure. Um, his accessories are also here. Looks like he's got the missile box and the um, like the mount for the legs for it. Uh, no letter or note from uh, David. You don't have to include a letter. I'm just uh, thrilled that you thought to send something to me. Uh, and this is a really nice, um, really nice scrap iron figure. I think this is better than the one that I've already had and that I've been using. Uh, so this may be uh, my numero uno. Uh, scrap iron figure. So thank you very much, Dave. All right, this box is from Rezakai, um, also known as Four Seconds of Silence. Uh, and um, I believe I already know what this is because it's, uh, I believe this is what he told me he was going to send. Um, and so I'm really excited to see uh, what it is. Uh, let's see here. Um, ooh, there is some paper in here. I'm going to carefully remove that and uh, the paper is in plastic and I'm removing the plastic and um, okay all right hey cool graphics awesome um, we have this says HCC here's a, a set of GI Joe tapes yes that's what I thought it was uh, tapes I came across uh, thought of you. Thank you very much. After listening to the two previous adventure audio tape reviews uh, you did, I figured you'd enjoy them. Absolutely. I'm looking forward to listening to them. Um, hope you get a chance to listen and review them. I'm looking forward to checking them out. Uh, from Rez, um, and oh, he sends a, a secret coded message. Um, I will have to grab my code book and decode that later and send him a reply. So uh, thank you, Rezakai. It's kind of nice to get a secret coded message. Uh, I'm often sending them. Kind of nice to get them. And there is another page. Uh, and yeah, cool. Um, oh, hey. Yeah, so uh, Rezakai, because he was, um, he's a patron and he got a, um, uh, a sketch. Um, I, I sent him a drawing. He wanted Wild Weasel. And uh, he inked it. He inked it from my sketch. So I'll show you this uh, inked artwork uh, from the sketch that I did. So hey, that's cool. Um, I don't normally have people uh, inking my sketches, uh, but hey, it actually turned out better. Uh, it looks even better than uh, what I sent. So uh, thank you, Rezekai. Um, it looks nice. It's nice. Uh, so cool. Uh, thank you, uh, four seconds of silence. Uh, and now I'm gonna dig into the box so I can check out those tapes. Uh, that should be fun. Um, these tapes, um, these story tapes, these G.I. Joe story tapes, um, uh, we got one with um, Listen and Fun Tripwire, we got one with Special Mission Brazil, uh, but there were others uh, that didn't come with, uh, with toys. 
but there were others, and I, they're really hokey, but I kind of love them anyway. Um, they can be sometimes hilarious uh, and so much fun. So um, I need I have a knife. I'm going to cut the tape. They're, they're really cheesy, um, but I like cheesy things, so uh, uh, I'm looking forward to, to listening to these. Very well packed, very well wrapped. No chance of damage on these guys. Okay, that's the first couple of them out. Let me get these others out. There we go. Okay, all right, I got them out. Okay, so um, for those of you um, young cats, uh, these are audio cassettes. Uh, they would uh, be played by an audio cassette player. Uh, there was uh, analog uh, audio on them, sometimes songs and sometimes uh, story cassettes like this. Um, and this one, this is cool. I got to show you all these. Uh, this is G.I. Joe Challenge of the Clones. So G.I. Joe was doing an attack of the clones well before Star Wars was. This uh, looks like, oh, I gotta, hold on. Yeah, I'm getting old, and it's fine print, and this is from 1984. Um, yeah, I cannot wait to listen to this. Um, this one is uh, G.I. Joe, the Deadly Satellite. The Deadly Satellite. Uh, also from 1984. Were all these from 1984? They might be. Uh, G.I. Joe, The Captive City. The Captive City, also from 1984. Uh, and this uh, yellow one. There we go. Uh, G.I. Joe, Cobra Strikes. Uh, and this one appears to be from 1986. Um, I'm really excited. Um, I cannot wait to hear uh, the cheesy goodness on these. Uh, thank you for seconds of silence, and I will decode your message a bit later, and I will have to send you a response. So uh, that's awesome. This is a good time to remind everyone that I keep all of these correspondences, all of the letters you send me. I keep every single one of them. I will be keeping those. Uh, what shall we do next? Um, I'm going to do this one. It's another pretty big one. And this is from, I don't know, let's see who it's from. Uh, we've got some, um, uh, oh, okay, I, I see something I recognize in there. It looks like the HAL, Heavy Ar Artillery, I can't even say it, Heavy Artillery Laser from 1982. And we have a letter, another one that I will be keeping. Uh, this says um, HCC788, that's me. Um, I hope you and your family are doing well. They are doing well, thank you. Uh, I recently got a brand new HAL for my collection. I noticed yours uh, looking a tad tatty. Yeah, it's, it, it's seen its better days. Um, I'm sending you my previous one as a replacement. Enjoy, yo Cho. This is from Centaur71. Thank you, Centaur71. Um, and I am going to carefully take this out. And uh, that's really nice. That's really nice. And I just noticed some custom work on it so this has been customized hang on hold on so this is the second custom that i've received uh this month i don't know if if you can see this but we've got some extra paint details on the controls um and on the um radar screen um we've got uh extra paint application here on the uh like the back grill uh, oh, and on the cannons. Uh, so this isn't just a really nice, um, a really nice HAL with with the little leg that goes with it. Um, this is a custom. It's a really nice custom. Oh, like this got the. Uh, oh, can I? Yeah, it's got some silver there on the bottom. Um, this is gorgeous. This is beautiful. So, uh, Centaur71, thank you very much for this. This is unexpected. Got some extra colors on the, con the side control panel. Uh, this is another one where I probably need to get um, at least one close-up picture, and I'll pop that on the screen. But, uh, wow. Uh, really cool. Really cool. Thank you very much. I guess this one is next because it is on top. And this is from uh, Christopher Kitt Mayer. Uh, and I did rip this one open. It's got some insulation, and I don't want to, uh, I don't want to spread that everywhere. But um, we have a letter. I'll pull the letter out. 
There we go. And this says um, HCC788. Uh, I collect G.I. Joe and I love your channel. Thank you very much. Uh, enclosed in this package you will find uh, a set of near-perfect X-30 Conquest missiles, which I donate to you. Thank you very much. Um, I, I had so much trouble with my Conquest missiles if you saw that video. Um, let's see, I'm also enclosing a custom tech spec sheet um, on one of my favorite fighter jets as well as a bio of its well-known pilot. Uh, let me know what you think. Only G.I. Joe is G.I. Joe, so yo Joe. Thank you. That's from Chris Meyer. Uh, all right, so I want to carefully take this out um, and not leave anything in there. Okay, so we are clear. Got everything out of that envelope, and we have uh, a set of really nice Conquest X-30 missiles. Um, that particular jet I have reviewed, but... Um, I had an issue with one of the missiles in that uh, one of the cats, oops, one of the cats chewed on it. Uh, this is why you should never have cats. Uh, but uh, these these are, are, they look perfect. They look absolutely perfect. Thank you. We have two envelopes, one that says Conquest X-30 and one that says Slipstream. So um, I am going to open the Conquest X-30 envelope first and see what's inside. Um, there we go. Hang on to that. Um, and, ah, okay. This is, it's not a letter, so I'm not going to read it like a letter. But it's its exactly what he said it is. It's a spec sheet for the uh, Conquest uh, X-30. Uh, Northrop Grumman Conquest X-30 Mark I. With some uh, graphics as well. I'm going to read through this in more detail later. Uh, well, thank you, uh, Chris, for going through the effort to do this. And now I have the Slipstream envelope. Um, of course, it's got to be Slipstream. Um, slipstream, people often forget about Slipstream. People remember the Conquest, but they forget about Slipstream. Uh, but um, Slipstream was... Uh, uh, According to his file card and his appearances, um, he was a great pilot. Great pilot. Um, we have the real uh, Slipstream. Really nice. Um, uh, excellent mustache, I have to say. Excellent mustache. Um, yeah, this is like, this is way more than a file card. This is like an entire biography. Um, this is really cool. So, uh, yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of thought and effort went into this. That's amazing. So, Chris, uh, this is really cool, uh, and thank you for those missiles. Really appreciate it. That definitely helps me out. Uh, I'm going to uh, keep uh, all of this, and I'm going to look through these uh, more a little bit later um, because there's just amazing. Uh, detail in this. So uh, that's awesome. Thank you very much, Chris. All right, that leaves us with one from Brandon Knight. Brandon Knight is a frequent flyer here, and this looks about comic book size. Uh, that's what I'm thinking. And so I've cut the tape at the back uh, so as I can open it up. And oh, first we have a letter. Uh, Brandon always uh, writes something nice. Brandon says, Dear HCC788, I hope you're having fun with all the new things you get from the G.I. Joe community. Yes, thank you very much. Uh, it, it's almost overwhelming. It's, it's amazing. Also, hope you're getting ready for Joe Fest. Yes, I am. Uh, make sure to take many pictures and videos from the event. I'll do as much as I can. Uh, sorry I won't be there to meet you, Larry Hama, and the rest of the G.I. Joe community due to money issues. I, under I, I get it. I do totally understand. Maybe next year I uh, will meet all of you. Here are two special comics. One of them has a G.I. Joe theme, and the other is something special uh, to me. Enjoy. Uh, so your pal, Joe Pal, uh, Brandon Knight. Thank you very much, Brandon. And I will keep this letter. Uh, and here we have uh, some comics. <laughs> all right, the, the top one I can see. All right, I see what you mean. Um, it is um, it's Deadpool. It's a Deadpool with a G.I. Joe cover, a real American Zero. Uh, that's, that's cute. That's not bad. <laughs> um, nice. So that's, that's the first one. And the next one. Um, oh, wow. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Uh, okay. This is um, the little note here. 
explains why this is important. It says, uh, Star Wars Legacy, um, a very, the very last stand. This is by Dark, Dark Horse. Uh, and uh, the note here says, this is the Star Wars comic I got published in. Uh, I even signed it for you. So he was published in this comic book and he signed it. So wow, this is a, a very important personal thing. And I love the signature. So uh, thank you for signing that for me um, right there right there um so that's special um this may have to have a special place as well so um uh amazing really amazing thank you brandon yeah i found it i found it on the letters page found you brandon i found yeah i found your letter so okay cool um so uh, thanks that i don't even know what else i can say but uh, my deepest thanks for that uh that is a remarkably uh, very uh, personal thing to send so uh, so thank you and thanks for all of this um, and not just for, for this I don't want to just thank you for for, for getting stuff although it um, the uh, the fact that you would um, send stuff to me and that you would think of me and that you would um, want to share these things with me means a lot to me uh, it's always the most important thing to me uh, that um, that uh, we um, appreciate our community, that we uh, appreciate our time together, uh, that we um, uh, that we share time together, and that we kind of go on this this journey together. And that's to me what this really means. It, it means that we are on this journey together, uh, that we are that we are a community, um, and the community is um, is vibrant, uh, it's strong, and um, and. We're going to do some great things. I think we're going to do some great things. So um, I think you are going to do some great things. So uh, thank you to, uh, to everyone for this. And thank you to everyone, even if you didn't send anything. Thank you just for being here, and thank you just for watching. Um, I will put the P.O. Box up on the screen one more time. Um, if you want to send something to the channel, I will put it in a video like this one, and that's the address to send it. Uh, but once again, you don't have to send anything. I'm just happy having you here. So thank you for uh, thank you for just being here. That's uh, that's really the most important thing to me. So um, I think it's time to wrap this up. Really amazing stuff sent in May. So um, if I get anything in June. I will do another unboxing video in June. If I don't get anything, then I won't do an unboxing. That's just kind of how it works. Um, but I guess it'll be up to you uh, whether there will be another unboxing video like this in June. And if there isn't, that's absolutely fine. So um, I will say uh, I will say good evening to you guys and thanks again. And I will see you soon for uh, a vintage GI Joe toy review. Don't forget, only GI Joe is GI Joe.